Hi there guys, I'm back with another one of my 360 VR videos shot in 8K. This time I am shooting with the DJI Osmo 360. So this video is kind of a test to see how well this camera performs in creating these kinds of immersive videos. And it should be good because the Osmo 360 can shoot 8K at 50 frames per second, which is the first consumer 360 camera to be able to do that. And the high frame rate means smoother playback, especially in VR, that makes should make a big difference if you're watching this back on a VR headset or even on YouTube um, just with the immersive controls. So unfortunately, YouTube does no longer render 8K 360 videos. I think the highest it goes is 4K um, in terms of playback. So unfortunately, we can't watch this at on YouTube at 8K, but this was shot in 8K, so it should still be super high quality. If you look in the description, I have uploaded this to a, another a site which does allow for 8K VR playback. So if you want to watch it on a VR headset in 8K. So if you want to watch this in 8K, go to that link and check it out. So the DJI Osmo 360, not only able to shoot 8K 50 frames per second, but also features two one inch sensors, which means it should be able to pick up uh, plenty of lights, plenty of color. It also shoots 10 bit color. So just looking at these videos as I shot them, um, I have done a little bit of editing. This isn't completely unedited. I've added some saturation, changed the exposure just to get the best, best looking videos possible. But it really is possible to get some absolutely stunning looking videos 360 immersive videos with this camera considering the price it is a really amazing camera for the price if you want to shoot these kinds of immersive videos now i've just gone around my hometown london shooting in places that i think would be interesting like we're um been around the london eye buckingham palace uh, around canary wharf the business district so yeah this is kind of a good example of the kinds of shots people take um, in a minute, I'll be taking you somewhere a little bit more interesting, a little bit different. But just looking at these videos, I'm really liking the color, the uh, how it brings out dynamic range, um, lots of details still in the shadows. Again, this is just very impressive. Considering that five years ago, this kind of quality would require a three, four, five thousand pound dollar euro camera, which would be much larger, much clunkier, much harder to work with. So I'm really liking the videos coming out of the DJI Osmo 360 for immersive content. Thankfully, there are lots of interesting places to shoot in London, as you can see. I still haven't run out of places, but these are some of my favorites, actually. I've definitely shot in these places before. Let me know what you think. I've lived in London for over 10 years and I'm still finding new places to visit, new places to see, new places that I think are going to look great on a VR headset shooting immersive content. So here is where I'm going to go into a bit more of my uh, usual how I do these videos describing a unique place. Well, this is a pretty unique place. This is also in London. You wouldn't think it because it looks like a very beautiful um, scenic countryside but this is actually um, a the largest botanical gardens in London and I think perhaps even uh, one of the largest in the world Kew Gardens located in West London and it's one of my favorite places in this whole city and I had to bring the DJI Osmo 360 here to really test it out and see what we can get so this is inside one of the massive greenhouses that we have here at Kew Gardens and uh, it's amazing. I just love, I love botanical gardens. I don't know why, I love plants, I love the heat, I love uh, being in a kind of tropical environment even though you're in the middle of the, uh, in England, which definitely could not house a lot of the plants and tropical life we find here. And just the greenhouses themselves are stunning. They are hundreds of years old. Um, the whole area is a UNESCO World Heritage Site among one of the most stunning gardens uh, that you could ever see. So yeah, if you're ever in London, I really, really recommend coming to see this. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this. Uh, there are about three more stops. Um, just gonna play some music for you and you can enjoy the gardens and check out the quality of this camera. See if you think it's picking up good colors, good dynamic range, lowering the highlights, getting the shadows right. If you're interested in this camera for immersive content, then yeah, check out the link. You can see 
this in the highest quality possible and also check the links to see where you can buy this camera. It really helps me out if you do, to no extra cost of your own, but that's how I keep this channel running. So yeah, hopefully guys, you'll enjoy the rest of this video. Okay guys, so we're coming to the end of this immersive VR video of London, Kew Gardens. I hope you've enjoyed it, so I hope you've had a good look at what the Osmo 360 can do. I really do think this is probably the best camera for immersive content like this. Um, in terms of other other content you can get with 360 cameras like the action camera, the action videos, um, travel vlogs, reframing, this is also pretty good for that. The one downside is that it doesn't have replaceable lenses, so you do have to be more careful than with the competitors. But that's it guys, um, if you want more of this kind of stuff, please let me know in the comments. I do actually quite enjoy creating the, these kinds of videos, so it'll be good to know if you actually enjoy them too. Until next time, I'll see you around. Bye.